Now, now that we've done that, we're good to go. So we've run this set of code. Let's scroll down to COVID Explore. Let's see if everything else still works because remember last time they've changed the names of our features. Let's run this one. We should get our cable, uh, our cable table, as I like to call it. So that's this table here. So everything seems to be working fine. Let's go ahead and throw a graph in here now. All right, so let's put a graph in. Let's go to line 70 on mine. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do my best to get you that code. I'll probably link it to my to my personal website so you can get it there. All right, so let's do another R chunk. Or let's, let's call this uh, our first graph, our first graph. All right, R chunk, we're just gonna do Control Alt I, Control Alt I. So what we wanna do, let me grab something here. There we go. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna explore this data a little bit. We already have seen the data. You can actually look at it here, click on DF and EDF, you have some data here. We're gonna apply some dplyr functions. Again, if you haven't already loaded it, you should have right up here, library dplyr. We're gonna use those functions to create a quick graph. I'll show you how to download the graph. You can post it on your social media, say you've created this from scratch, good to go. All right, so what we wanna do is, I'm gonna start with the EDF function, so EDF. And what I wanna do is I wanna pipe it, so control shift M for me, it should be the same case for you. We're gonna pipe it into a filter. I'm not interested in all of the countries. I'm not interested in all of the data. I'm only interested in anything that has a death. Because if it doesn't have a death, it's not that, uh, I guess, informative for my needs right now. We'll call it that. I can't use the word excited because that's a bad word to use. Filter, I'm gonna say, so this is the deplier function. So I'm gonna filter based on deaths greater than zero. So at this point, you start off with a full data set, EDF. You pipe it into this filter and the filter says, only take deaths that are greater than zero. So now we're there. In fact, we can we can always um, pipe it into a viewer real quick, just to see, command enter on that. Just as you go, uh, death not found, death, death, death. I think it's deaths, plural. There we go. All right, so we should have a death rate for everything and we should have a death for everything. So if you look here, uh, I'll sort it both directions. The lowest is one, the highest is 370, okay? So the filter works. So that's what I wanted to get at. So we're not gonna view it yet though. We wanna filter into um, filter deaths greater than zero. And we're going to group it by country. I wanna know per country how many deaths do you have. So we'll do group underscore by, and this is, it's, it's intuitive almost once you do this a few times that it almost makes like English language sense, you know? So filter by this, group by, I wanna group it by, and you can type in countries and territories. It automatically puts the back ticks in there. So, so now I'm gonna group this by countries and territories. Um, and what do I wanna group it by and do with it? I wanna summarize. So what we normally do with deplier functions is every single time you put a pipe operator, we actually usually hit the enter button, start a whole new line. So I wanna group it by countries and territories, pipe that into a summarize function, so summarize, and inside of our summarize function, we're gonna create a variable called um, cases total, and I'm gonna set that equal to the sum of all the cases. So it's gonna group it by countries, but it's also gonna sum all of the cases for us. And But I also wanna summarize the deaths, so I'm gonna say deaths total equals the sum of deaths. Now notice what I'm doing here is I'm creating variables on the fly. Cases total did not exist, I'm creating it now. What am I gonna assign cases total? The sum of all the cases. I'm creating deaths total. I'm assigning that to the sum of all the deaths. But the beauty of deplier is now that I've done that and I haven't even run this actual code yet, I can already use those variables in my later on code to the right. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now that I've done that, um, we're going to pipe that into, so check this out. So pipe it again, hit enter. I'm gonna pipe it right into a ggplot, the grammar of graphics. Um, if you haven't already, let's go to 73 and do library ggplot2. Let's load that up, I'll put a space there. So now we can use our ggplot. Uh, mine's probably already loaded, so I just didn't wanna uh, forget that. All right, so we're gonna pipe it into ggplot. And in ggplot, we are going to um, have an aesthetic. And just this is just an example. We'll have an aesthetic, which is the countries. We want the countries and territories. And that's it for that. 
and then I'm going to add. So remember the grammar of graphics, you can add layers. I'm not piping it now, this is slightly different, but you can add. And I'm going to add a layer called um, geom point. But in the geom point, I want my aesthetic a y axis to equal to the case's total. And I'm going to go over this again a couple times. And I'm also going to make that color equal to, I don't know, we'll, we'll just skip the color. Uh, y equals cases total, so G on point, uh, aesthetic y equals cases total, but I'm going to add another layer because you can add layers, so add G on point, this time the aesthetic, I'm going to do y is equal to death's total, all right, um, 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 um. and this time I'll make it color equals red, I think it's just like this. So let's go ahead and run this and see if what kind of errors I get, because that's kind of a lot in one go. Boom, it worked perfectly, right? But you can't see the x-axis. That's terrible, 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 and it looks like there's only one color that's kind of off too. Well, let's figure this out in a second, step by step. Let's first do a coordinate flip, so I'm gonna add a chord flip to this. Let's do command enter on that. Now we have a better looking graph. It's not the greatest, but close enough for now. After a little bit of a struggle, I found out what the error was and why this was producing this graph with this error. Well, if you look closely at line 80, it says geom path instead of geom point. That took me a while to find. So now you can run it. That's what we're going to do. We can, we can um, render this now. Let's save it, remember? Command S our markdown render script1.rmd sc ribt1 <laughs> okay output created let's check it out real quick open in web browser and here we have it we have our table keep scrolling down which this is not cool that we actually have thousands of rows so I think we need to fix that pretty quick like right now let's go back to our code we're not going to create a table with everything that's showing at the moment let's just do so go up to our cable EDF and we're going to instead of pipe that into cable styling we will um, first let's reduce that so let, let's just call this reduced EDF and make it EDF piped into a uh, head function where we can get the first 100 observations. I think that'll work. Command enter on that. So reduced EDF right here, if you could see it, it, it created it. And we'll just plug in the R here for the cable extra. All right, so let's run that now. Command S, rerun. So we're finding all kinds of errors. And we'll just run the uh, render again. And it, now it should actually render a lot faster, too. File scripts, open a web browser. Now we have just the first 100 observations, which still isn't, we're not going to keep it this way. But I wanted to show you that the graph is here. So you have the graph or the chart right here. Quite the lesson that didn't quite turn out as planned, but I hope we learned something from it.